Hey guys, um, this tutorial I'm going to be doing a Skrillex snare. Um, it's basically kind of like some of the stuff he's had in his most recent songs, uh, like Skrillex, Alvin, and Risk, Try It Out, uh, Raga Bomb with Raga Twins. Uh, it's like that. Um, it's a really, I guess you could say, specific kind of sound that you're going for for the snare. Um, and it's not like the usual, because I used to always get extremely frustrated with all the snares that would come in all these sample packs and basically everything that everyone had tutorials with on YouTube, because uh, they just weren't the same. They were always this kind of just, just real resonant, kind of the lower end was real resonant. Um, but I found that that's not really how his snares have been have been in his most recent songs. Um, they've been more of less resonant, less punchy, but more of like a more of like a snare clap, more more realistic sounding. Um, but basically, what you want to do is you just want to search through all your samples until you can find something that basically sounds uh, kind of like this. As you can see, like the starting sound, it's kind of like what we're looking for, just that little snap of like more of an airy sound at the beginning, but as you can see this one has a lot of reverb on it and that kind of helps with the overall sound. So like all those right there would would pretty much work. So as long as you can some, find something along those lines, uh, then we'll be able to do this. Um, so basically what you want to do f with your first snare that I just showed you is you basically want to cut out most of it so you just get like a real a real uh short hit kind of like this just so you get that first part of the snare uh that's basically what his snares sound like then what you want to do is just eq it you know get rid of the mud and then um just i didn't really touch it much because i thought it fit perfectly fine how it was uh, but i got rid of everything that was down there and then i compressed it as you can see threshold was negative 12.3 is pretty pretty low uh, i don't need that one actually uh, and then the second was just to raise the volume up to zero decibels as you can see it's pretty compressed right now um, and then basically what you want to do is you want to find another snare um, it says I use snare 155, let me find that for you. Basically something with a big long white noise tail, kind of like a... Like not something that's more reverby, but something with more of a, like I said, a white noise tail. Um, then basically all you want to do is just turn the in knob. Or just cut off the beginning. And normalize it so, or you can just... Uh, raise the volume with the limiter uh, but I just I just trimmed it took off some of the out so to have a smoother decline and a little bit shorter uh, and then got rid of some of the in so it would get rid of the initial snap uh, and um, seamless actually had this in one of his tutorials on he was making some kind of snare for a dubstep song that he was doing and he was layering multiple snares exactly like this you know you don't really need to EQ much with these. As you can see, I didn't do anything at all with this second snare because it's just kind of noise. Um, but basically what you're doing is you're using the transients from the first snare and then using the tail from this one uh, combined. And it just gives you that exact snare sound. Um, and what it sounds like, I'll let you listen to the drum beat I have. This is what it sounds like with some other stuff going on. So yeah, if you guys liked this, then please, 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 it would help a ton. Just go down, click subscribe, and like this video and tell everyone 
that's been looking for the snare, just tell them all about it, because I don't want anyone else to have to go through the frustration of not being able to find the snare. Um, so again, just like, subscribe, and catch you guys later.